What's going on, YouTube? How you doing? Um, I just wanted to uh, make this video. Um, a lot of people were talking to me um, about what I think about, like what the SDR content looks like in comparison with each other between the S95B on uh, your left and the uh, G2 on the right. So I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison for them. But before I begin, um, I just want to thank everyone that watched my prior video comparisons. That was a lot about gaming, a lot about HDR content. And um, I, I don't know what else to say besides thank you guys. Um, the 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 comments, the people, it's just, it's really nice to know that there are really good people out there that actually care for what you do. Um, because the reason why I do this is literally because I just care and I want to share with everyone my personal experience because I know to a lot of people, a regular person's personal experience, um, not a pro review or not a pro this or pro that, um, is extremely important because it's non-bias and um, I have the two panels so it doesn't matter like which <clears throat> you know what what my personal opinion is or anything I have them both anyways I'm not here I'm not sponsoring one over the other these I own uh, with my own money and um, you know I love them both and um, there's not one um, that uh, is any real true better than the other um, you know, they both, they all have their own individual features that are better and vice versa. So, you know, that's um, one of those things where it's like, that's why I got them because I know like one, like, you know, the S95B, I know gets a lot of praise for its gaming. Um, the G2 though, obviously it gets uh, its praise for its just being a mature OLED and um, now with the G2 and the new Evo panel, they made it brighter. And uh, its reliability, its build quality, its motion processing has gotten tremendous. Its um, operating system um, has definitely stepped up since, you know, if I had o LG OLEDs for a few years, I've had the 2017 edition. It was the E7, I believe. And then I had the two CXs, um, 165 and 177 inch. So I know my OLEDs and I know my LGs and um, definitely a big difference between the G2 and the, its predecessors uh, from, from the past. So I know how much they stepped up. Um, gaming has always been phenomenal as far as uh, the processing goes and uh, the motion and things like that. Now that paired with its Evo panel and making it brighter, uh, very, very close to QD OLED technology. Um, it's, uh, it's a game changer. It, it really is. And I'm hoping that, uh, they either evolve from that with that heat sink built into it and, uh, make it even more like QD or OLED, or they come out if, or LG comes out with their own QD OLED technology, um, anyways. And I know they have the ability to do it because they have their own quantum dot technology built into, uh, their other series. Uh, like the nano cell and things like that. So um, if they do that, it might be game over for a lot of uh, brands out there. I will say that because um, the LG G2 pretty much has everything cornered besides that QD OLED combination uh, that paired uh, that paired uh, tech. So um, and a lot of people like that QD OLED tech. And I will tell you what, it is a game changer for certain situations. It really, really is. And um, I'm just happy to be able to have them both. But, um, you know, if uh, a QD OLED somehow next year comes out in a bigger panel, whether it's LG or Samsung, you already know I'm getting that panel. I don't care if my TVs are not even a year old. I will sell them for whatever I can get. And I will purchase uh, purchase one of those and be doing reviews on on those and you know personal opinions and stuff like that. So um, trust me on that one. But anyways, so um, this particular video is for 
SDR content upscaled. So right now, this is a movie. This is the original Rambo movie on Netflix. Um, I guess I can't really play it because of copyright purposes, but I can always play it for a little bit and then stop it and make comments and things like that. So, um, but anyways, both do a great job at upscaling the uh, content. Um, they just do it in their own way. And it's that simple. So like right now you can see um, the S95B, which is on the left. If you look at uh, the female, um, like you see how she's wearing like a white shirt. You can see how like the white shirt kind of pops a little bit more. And I really don't think that is the creator's intent because this is a dark scene. I think that's just the S95B doing his job and try to try to pop out lighter colors in the darker scenes um and then if you look at the g2 you see how like her white shirt is not as uh bright kind of looks a little bit more natural um that right there to me is probably the creator's intent when they made this video to make everything still look dark but still being able to see um so i would probably give it to the g2 in these darker scenes um and um I just kind of, it, it all depends on what your preference is. A lot of people like brighter and a little bit standing out. A lot of people like darker. And when it, when I watch dark scenes, I prefer it to be dark. So that's a personal opinion. I'm going to forward it a little bit. Um, let's go to maybe a little bit of a bright, like a dark scene, but in a combination with uh, some specular highlights. So here. All right. This is a scene of those two lights right there are on a boat coming in, I guess, to a dock or a bay or something. I, I don't know. But it looks like a military boat. So look at that. So these highlights to me are important to uh, talk about because if you're looking for like uh, more of a pop to it, um, you're probably going to want to go with the S95B. But if you look, if you want to go for more of a natural look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that beautifulness. <laughs> Even, uh, it's probably not a word. But look at, see that? It's still bright, bright enough, but it doesn't, it's still dark enough to not really wash out the surrounding of the picture, which me personally, I like that. And the crazy part is, is you wouldn't even notice it if um, you just kind of had these two TVs separate from each other so you know it all depends on what everyone likes so but yeah so that's that scene right there now let's look at skin tones um and just to let you guys know by the way from the comments of the last video i made about colors not looking right on the s95b and uh, things like that. A lot of it does have to do with the camera. I turned my HDR 10 plus off on my camera. I think that had a lot to do with it. Um, and I'm trying to record in uh, 4K, but I, for some reason, it's not letting me upload it in 4K through uh, YouTube. So I hope it does this time. I'm not sure if it's going to do it. But um, as far as the color settings go on the S95B, I definitely toned it down even more because on my last video, I toned it down and try to get it closer to the G2. Now I had to tone it down even more uh, to get the brightness and color to and the toning uh, closer. Um, so they're both on cool, um, which is my personal preference. I know a lot of people like the warm or medium, but um, and... I brought the color down to like the twenties on <clears throat> on the uh, the S ninety five B, but the color <clears throat> and the the brightness um, down as well to try to get it even with the G two because again, no matter what you do to the G two, you can try to make the colors pop and you can try to put the brightness all the way up, and it still cannot get to that level of. Uh, the S95B when it comes to those particular things. So what you can do is tone down the S95B to make it look more even to the 
G2 because you can't do it the other way around. No matter what you tried, it, it just doesn't matter. Um, it's just that quantum dot technology just makes the color pop more. That's the whole point. It basically uh, just makes the color um, just pop more. It's uh, it's pretty amazing tech. And that paired with the OLED is, I mean, just phenomenal. All right, so let's go to skin tones because there are still differences um, in a lot of uh, scenes. So like right here, I'm going to put it on Rambo himself. Oh, yeah. All right. So now look at this, though. So like in brighter scenes and skin tone scenes, look, look at the G2. Look how natural, look how nicely upscaled this is right here. It looks like it's HDR. It's crazy how good of a job the G2 does. And then look over here. Phenomenal job on the upscaling too. It still looks HDR. It does have a little bit more of a pink tone to it in brighter scenes. I'm telling you guys, no matter what I do, I'm still going to work on it. I'm trying to get that kind of pinkish colored tone down more. Um, but that's as close as I got it right now. So I'm going to back out so you can see them against each other. Right there. You can tell a lot more that it's more pink on the left and I'm telling you guys I promise um, I've been changing the tint I've been changing the uh, toning I've been changing um, all like the settings to make it look more natural more natural in what in lighter scenes but um, there are sacrifices when you do that too which can be crushing the blacks a little too much things like that so I'm trying to find the right the right space for it but for now, it definitely is not as pink as it was before. Like before, it was more of a red pink. Now this is more of like a kind of like a peach kind of pink. And it does not look as bad in person as it does in, in camera. I can promise you that. So, um, but yeah, this on uh, the G2 definitely looks like it does in uh, real life. I like it a lot better um, as far as the color scene goes. Um, but, you know. As far as the way they're making of uh, the way they're making the SDR look, uh, and you know, upscaling the actual picture quality, not the color, but the picture quality, man, it's dead even. There's not one better than the other. I tell you that. So, they both. It's just great. I just don't understand how these guys, Samsung or LG, even Sony, how they just got it down so well. And so it's just amazing. And uh, we are in a. We're all winners here, no matter which one you pick. It's just just truly phenomenal. So um, let me go ahead and skip a couple more scenes. I want to go to like a scene where, here we go, where there's fire. All right, so I'm going to switch it to this scene here. All right, perfect. All right, so now when it comes to like scenes with fire in it, in SDR, I... Oh, first, let me start with saying in HDR fire scenes like explosions and stuff. I'm sorry. I got to give it to the S95B. It just looks great. I mean, they both look great. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to like the pop, how it just sticks out like it's coming at you. The S95B definitely has that has that lockdown with the like the oranges and the reds and you know those those colors there they they just you can't you can't beat it so anyway so all right this is SDR though so what do you guys think about this that's the S95B like you can see there's a little bit more details a little bit more orangey yellow in like the hotter areas of the fire like right there right there and then look at the detail in the smoke you see how you can even see the orange behind the black. But you see how it's like very detailed? Now I'm going to back out. Now look at that. All right. So just when you thought the S95B for SDR was uh, better, it's hard to tell because look. How sick is that? Look at that upscaling. How beautiful is that? I mean, don't get me wrong. I think there's definitely more color in the fire uh, that uh, in the S95B. You see that? 
I think there's definitely more detail. But when you look at the overall flame, I'm going to back out so you can see them both. See how it just kind of looks a little bit more highlighted in the uh, S95B? But the background, I'm going to go in this angle, sorry. The background, like look at the woods, look at the forest, how it has a more natural look. I like that better than right here. Like it still kind of looks like not as natural, you know, with like the dirt down here and the, at the bottom. Um, the trees look more natural and it could be because of that pink kind of hue, but look, what do you guys think? What's your personal opinion on like the lighter scenes with the explosions and the fire? Like action scenes, basically. What's your personal opinion? All right, so now I'm going to skip to, let's say, like a natural kind of color scene, like right here. All right, perfect. All right, so this is where like it's just a toss up because now look at the G2 and it's beauty look at the G2 look at that that's upscaling guys that's this is a movie from like the 80s I think or early 90s and look what it does to this look what it does to like the forest look how natural look how beautiful it looks now look at the S95B, and it looks great too. I mean, it still upscales it beautifully. Look at that. Look at that. I would say because of the sky though, the G2 would take it because it looks more natural. But as far as like colors go, the S95B, you know, like these colors, like not the green, but like the ones that... Like the yellows and the the faded tree colors, like those, I'd probably give it to the to the S95B because you can see more of it in the S95B than you can in the G2. So there's there's toss ups, you know what I mean? There's trade offs. It's crazy. So yeah, so that's uh, my uh, impression on that. Overall, me personally, I think the more I'm more attracted to the GT when it comes to the SDR content overall. And that's basically what I'm just trying to uh to to state. So um here's a ooh, let's do this scene right here. Okay. Wait. Alright, so maybe alright, so Here we go. All right. So this light bulb, um, I like to uh, point out because if you look, it looks like you can see a little bit more detail inside the light bulb, right? But if you go to the G2, it looks like you can see a little bit more detail outside of the light bulb. Like those little black specks. I mean, they virtually look the same, to be honest with you. But maybe that was just like a first reaction glance. But I just think there is definitely more detail inside the light bulb than there is in this one. But it's so close. It's like, are you really going to notice that? Are you really going to nitpick? You know what I mean? All right. So that's pretty much about it. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Um, the one thing I do want to say is that um, when you compare these two, you you got to take it with a grain of salt because um, everyone is going to make a purchase. They're going to, you know, some people are more knowledgeable than others. And I know a lot of you guys are more knowledgeable than me. Again, the whole reason why I'm making this video 
is to share as an owner of the two TVs. Like a rake, I'm not a pro. I'm, obviously, you can just tell by my YouTube channel. Um, I'm not a person who is trying to sway one way or the other. I really don't care about that because either way you go, you can't you can't lose. You just simply cannot lose. Um, and it's all about personal preference. And when you do get your TV, um, you're going to set up your TV simply your own way, the way you like it, because everyone's different. And you can go through my comments in the other uh, videos I, I uh, made, and you'll see how different everybody is. And that's my favorite that's truly my number one part about this is how we're all like strangers from each other, but we all um, we all have a common interest and we all share with each other what we think in a in a peaceful way. I mean, you know, there's no backlash or anything or and that is what makes this this whole thing so beautiful i don't mean to sound all sentimental or anything like that but um that is why i do this is to bring people together like literally that's why i do this so um and it is important to me that everyone shares their personal opinion their settings opinions and uh that's what this particular, that's the whole reason why I do what I do is to share from my perspective as an owner. I'm more of an out the box kind of plug and play kind of guy. But these TVs nowadays, you really can't do that anymore. These TVs are so sophisticated with tech and settings and different things that you can do. You have to learn how to use these TVs, especially when you're spending this kind of money because... It's there for you to maximize to your liking. And um, it's better to not just plug and play nowadays. It's better to learn your TV and go through the settings little by little and just make it, customize it the way you want. It's crazy. I mean, you can customize each HDMI port a certain way if you wanted to individually. Um, and I know that's kind of been around for a little while, but now it's just even more detailed with like the clarity settings and the tone mappings and the this and the that. I mean, it's it's truly, it's truly phenomenal. So uh, we are living in a good time right now for uh, for TV technology and entertainment at your home. And, um, you know, that's the whole reason why I am doing this, um, just to show the love for you guys when uh, if you guys are in the market a lot of you people are, and that's why you're watching these videos because I would say 90% of you are, or, you know, maybe less than that, but you're all trying to get something out of it. And that's why I'm creating these videos so you guys can all work together, talk to each other. And if I have to be the middleman of that, I'm more than happy to be the middleman of that. Um, I just hope that you guys like, please hit a like. Uh, please comment. Um, I really appreciate it. That's uh, what I look forward to. And um, I can tell you what, my favorite thing to do every single day is read the comments. I literally read 100% of the comments. And if I don't get back to you right away, it's probably because like I'm at work or something or whatever the case is, um, or I'm with my son or whatever. But um my thing is, is that I'm just trying to reach out to you guys and hope that you reach back. And it's just a back and forth thing uh, between each other. So I, I'm really grateful for all you guys. I just want to say that. And I know I don't have a huge following or anything. I would hope I get to that point one day. Um, but even then, I'll still, uh, I'll still be the same person. I'm not going to let that get to my head. Like a lot of these YouTubers, um, I am not like that at all. And um, I hate uh, when people do get like that. But, um, you know, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm not a sponsor and um, I'm not here to uh, go one way or the other. 
but um, I will always be honest with you guys, and um, I'll always tell you the truth, uh, because that's the whole point of doing these videos, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and um, please guys leave a comment like I said before, uh, love you all, and um, I hope you guys have a good holiday, and um, you guys uh, are truly the best uh, the whole reason why I do this is for you guys and um, just to share experiences because I'm a beginner and I'm learning as I go along, just like a lot of you guys out there. So thank you for the tips and thank you for sharing your tips in the comments for everyone else. That means a lot and I'm glad that I can use my uh, channel and my panels to uh, help with all that. It really means the world to me, guys. So thank you so much. Take care.